Today we're going to be doing a Freelander 1 clutch and master cylinder replacement. the actual system so whatever you do do not take this off because we're paying to get it back on inside the clutch bit so we're going to install this so first thing first is to take the battery out which we've already done the battery out now we need to take the air box out to get to the master cylinder down at the bottom. Very easy, it's just one eight mil spanner. You have two bolts to take the um, nuts out. And this will release the air box. As you can see, it's all ready to come out. You have the connection here for the air intake which needs to be removed like so and then you've got an air hose here got an air hose here that's it that needs to be removed and now you can take the whole thing out, like so. so. Now, we need to release the clutch pedal from the master cylinder. To do this, we need to take this bit off here with a screwdriver, somehow. But to do to do that, I can't I can't film it and do it at the same time. So I will. Um, take pictures of it and put it in the video. Okay, so now the clutch pedal is now released, we now need to undo all these clips that's connecting the pipe work. So we've got one here, one here, and there is one down here. There's one there, need to unclip them. We need to turn this one quarter turn clockwise and then it should come out. That's what's wrong with it. This is the failed part. All the fluid. No wonder it got no clutch. Okay, so now we fire this lead. I'll we'll try and get it out. Okay, so now we're back to the slave cylinder and there is a clip here that you need to unhook. Not quite sure how it goes, but oh, easy peasy. It's unhooked. And there you go. The hook is out. Now it should be able to just come off, like so. Okay, so now we have the master cylinder back on. So you give it, to make sure it's in there properly, give it a yank. Yeah, he's locked in. 
then obviously put all the cables back all the way through and now we got to put the slave cylinder back on without removing the tie Okay, so the slave cylinder is now on with the clip in and also that is back in its home. What I would advise is to get someone in the car and then guide whilst someone's pressing the clutch, guide it into the clutch arm and it should just go straight in you might have to like force it across to sit home in the clutch arm but then yeah sorted I hope this helps uh, please subscribe That's because you just pressed the button. I didn't do anything, touch it! Don't, don't you start on me! Oh